in this problem, we're being asked to write a quadratic equation um, starting with just the roots of the equation and being told what its leading coefficient is. So just a reminder, what are the roots of a quadratic equation? Well, you know, a quadratic equation is a parabola and it can um, intersect the x-axis at two possible places, maybe only one if the vertex is right on the x-axis, or maybe none if it's uh, totally above or totally below and downward pointing. But often there are these two, what we call roots of the equation. This is where the x value, uh, what the x value is when the, um, the equation itself equals zero. So if we have the roots of negative six and negative two, what that means is the solutions, the x values, where x equals negative 6 and x equals negative 2. What we want to do is find the factors now from these two equations. And we can do that by setting them equal to x, uh, sorry, setting them equal to 0. So to set x equals negative 6 equal to 0, what we do is we'd add 6 to both sides. And here we get x plus 6 equals 0. We'll do the same thing with this one. It requires adding 2 to both sides. And we're going to get x plus 2 equals 0. Now, in the quadratic equation, before we factor it, we set the whole thing equal to 0. And one or both of those factors would have to equal 0 if the whole thing was going to equal 0. So what we can do then is just multiply these two pieces right here. These are our factors now um, by each other. So this is really x plus 6 times x plus 2. And if you think about starting with a quadratic and then factoring it and finding the solutions, we're actually doing the reverse of that. So now we've got our factors. Let's go ahead and, and foil this out. So x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. 6 times x is 6x, and 2 times 6 is 12. And then we'll um, combine our like terms. So we get x squared plus, oops, that should have been a 6x, x, x uh, squared plus 8x plus 12. So this is a quadratic equation that will have these roots, but the leading coefficient is not 4. So what do we do with this piece? Well, the easiest thing to do is just multiply this whole thing by 4. If we do that, then our leading coefficient is going to be 4. So 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times 8x is 32x. And 4 times 12 is 48. So that would be our quadratic equation whose leading coefficient is 4 and um, who has which has these roots. So just to review, what we started out is we took the roots, we set x equal to those roots, we set each of those equations equal to 0, then those became our factors, we foiled those, multiplied those out together, that became our, our base quadratic equation, and then we multiplied it by this number 4 because that's what we wanted the leading coefficient to be. So that's how to write a quadratic equation when you have the roots and uh, an idea what the leading coefficient should be.